I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. I was just thinking I would love a level 2 antiquarian. I think we can kill a siren with a level 2 party with ancestral trinkets probably right seems like we would be able to Corbett is level 1 so it would be a jester antiquarian oh a cultist and man at arms a level 2 party with an occultist in it <laughs> um Going to the warrants? The, field. the cove? We're going to the cove. In the cove, a cultist is good. Antiquarian is antiquarian. Man at arms is man at arms. Like, they're all just sort of fine. Searches where others will not go, and sees what others will not see. Experiences, religious visions, uh, you probably want to flagellate then. You can do whatever. You have a love interest and you're a kleptomaniac. You like flagellating. Whoops. Well, we can put her in sanitarium for now. Get rid of claustrophobia. Don't think we care about this other stuff. Bronze can do whatever. Drink his cares away. All manner of diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Get me away from this place, says the caretaker person, dude guy. Temujin good. Temujin's good. Let's get rid of a Blutomania on Postal. Ah, oh, run's going pretty well, I think, Death of Angels. I'm confident that we will get to the Darkest Dungeons, and I don't know what will happen there, because I have no idea what they are. <laughs> so... That's, uh, I would have been quite happy with that result when I started it out. Belmis Bress, should we get rid of Night Blindness? Nah. I'm sure Bress is fine with being Night Blind. Of anemic on Vernon? Sure. I actually have a group who could take on a level 3 dungeon right now. Sort of a weird group, but they do fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Need one more dungeon with that crowd. Uh, so what do these guys do? Nervous stab. Okay. Festering vapors.
Blight for two points around. That's not actually that bad. And debuffs. It's actually like completely fine. Get down, flush powder, debuffs target. We've got a heal from the back rank. We can make people guard us. This is considerably more reasonable than I thought it was going to be. We'll take a crappy heal. And... Flash powder. Of course, all of these have sort of terrible negative perks, but it just is what it is. We want sacrificial stab, heal. And pull. Seems fine. Gives him something he can do from second or third position if he gets messed up by the Jester, which he will be getting messed up by the Jester. Jester goes stab, stress heal. Probably don't care about slice off. Probably go battle ballad and maybe solo. Solo finale. We want Rampart here. Bellows really good. This will be fine. Everybody's brand new, so they all have leveled up equipment and stuff. And we get Ancestral Trinkets on them. Go debuff chance on the Cultist plus actually not very slow assuming that the torchlight is up plus three percent crit on melee skills uh let's give him junior's head as well so he's better at debuff and better at healing that's sort of his job let's take some extra damage on the man at arms and Bonus to melee skills. Let's go speed and damage on the Jester. And Antiquarian carries our lantern for us. And I guess can have some dodge. Sure. So it's a general idea. This is the first level one dungeon that I've played in quite a long time. It should be really easy with level two heroes, even if I have an antiquarian. So medium. I don't remember what you need in the cove. Lots of shovels. I don't have great scouting right now. It'll just have to be okay. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear oh, of office. Squeaks, I missed you saying hi in Latin. Sorry about I that. Could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Fateful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. How's it going, Squeaks? I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. So we want to clear the full dungeon with the Antiquarian. 
that's like sort of as important as beating the boss. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Is a racing against time in this game? Yeah, I have to beat it by week 84 on Stygian difficulty. On lower difficulties, they don't have that, but on Stygian, they do. So... Fester you. We can't Rampart if we go before the Jester does. But maybe we can just kill that. Nice. Let's roll. There are two guardians. So I... I'm going to solo for the debuff. And because I want Abyssal Artillery. The Occultist. Okay, this guy's dead. And then it's just a matter of... Killing the guardians very slowly. You are bleeding to your death. Thanks, Captain Obvious. All my friends are bleeding to their deaths. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Um The dungeons are a little bit different in this game from how they work in XCOM. You can always go to a level one dungeon which has the easiest enemies in the game in it. Oh, I should have given him the Man at Arms shield. That's better than... I was just only looking at the Ancestral stuff. I didn't even think about it. how high minor antiques can stack. Surprise! Let's go. Antiquarian seems unreasonably reasonable to me. Annihilated. Oops. Oh, this just buffs guys though, right? Oh wow, since I played a level 1 dungeon. What? Oh, he still only has 16 hit points. Ok, 
Okay. Let's keep vaping you. I'm gonna solo so that the occultist can tentacle people. It's fine. I'm actually going to bellow for damage, I think. No, I don't need to. Eradicated. I used an antiquarian yet. I used an antiquarian on a dungeon earlier in the campaign. It did not end up super well. Pretty sure somebody died. Rare and and tweak? Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Use a shovel on this, if I remember right. Times Antiquarian team. Sounds like a lot of fun. This pond likes anti venom. And it heals five hit points. But we activate it with the Antiquarian, right? Wait. Okay. Oh. She thought it was alcoholic. I see. I see. This gives me... We pass. We don't want that. Well... Eh. No, we don't want it. Do I interact with traps with the antiquarian? Apparently I do, but they don't give me extra treasure. Um, is more reactionary and in darkest dungeons you choose Finding the stuff is only to take. The first test. There's a little bit of home. like the bosses are on a set script so beating boss missions gives you more stuff than beating regular missions so you want to go fight them and you don't get to control how they show up Although, I believe it is scripted, so it's the same every single time. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Sea maggots. Not again. Let's go. Light on that. Now you one of these. Crush one of uh, rampart. Rampart you. Hooray! Uh, pull you fort. The shocker. Oh. how we can come back from that. Destroyed. Okay. Good. So like the big thing here is I used to be doing these dungeons with level zero heroes with no trinkets and now I have 
level two heroes on them with ancestral trinkets. And the result is that this is just not a very difficult fight for us. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay. Although that doesn't mean that the boss is going to be easy at the end of this. Dude, the occultist, you do not mess with the occultist. I haven't asked why the occultist deals this much damage because like I'm afraid to do so. A lot of shovels. Let's go. Of accuracy on you. Let's murder you in the face. Let's jerk stab you also in the face. And stab you, stab, stab. Is it actually accurate to say there are bosses in XCOM? I guess if you have the Alien Hunters DLC, there are. But I don't really know that there are without it. There's like sort of a boss fight at the end. But it's not very convincing. In terms of actually being a boss fight. Wow. Okay, have my last shovel. Hey, I got a shovel out of it. We have lots of food at the moment. I have five anti-venoms for some reason. Backwards. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Might camp here. Or I could just full heal against the Guardian at the end of the fight. Good crits. Barnacle Barrier. Brine, my least favorite thing. Okay, it did not take very long for us to full heal.
Pretty sure the game said that that dealt negative one damage. What's this clam all about? Slow and insidious killer. He likes uh, dog treats. Also likes shovels. Yeah, let's camp here. Circle in the dark. Yes. The battle may yet be won. All companions plus 10% damage, 75% chance of plus 5 crit. Sounds good. Party plus 10 dodge and plus 3% crit. Sounds good. Bunch of resists on a cultist, because I said so. Grab some loot. Might get ambushed here, but I'm sort of okay with that, I think. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I just realized that my antiquarian should be in front of my occultist and it took me this long to realize that and I am sort of ashamed but it's all gonna turn out okay in the end Are they gonna like take turns shielding each other now? What's the plan? Food? For food? say you can probably replace the sound effects for abilities in this game right it seems like you'd be able to everything is sort of open in the INIs
this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Should check this car door. Ooh, I'm out of shovels. Um, even without it, we can try that. There's still booty inside. Waiting Wonderful. Booty, my favorite thing. Ooh, you get bigger gold stacks on these. I guess that's the antiquarian. Um, given that I've now worked out the antiquarian should not be in this position, I should probably change where they are standing so that she isn't anymore. Just a thought. All right, we got him. What was I just thinking? Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Aha! Perfect. Wow, I was about to be doing the boss fight with less than full light and an antiquarian. Yeah, the cultist's okay being in second position, but he's quite a lot better in third position tentacling things. Stress wave people? Huh. Fuck. It's killing my light. You must die, sir. And also. Decisive bubbling. Got him. Cult is sort of the only way that I can hit something in the fourth rank. And it only works if he's on position three or four. So that is semi important. Secret ram. Secret ram. No. Hmm, didn't have any heirlooms in it. Huh. Enjoy. We have one more battle of extra damage. Should be just perfect. All right, I've never fought the siren before. I don't know what's going to happen. We're doing it in dim light. So we'll be taking a little bit of extra stress. The aquatic devils have remade the poor He's Eldritch. 
She has their queen. She only has fifty percent stun resist. Um Oh, I didn't fix my abilities before this. She just took her shirt off. And also missed. That didn't seem so intimidating so far. Okay, you have friends. Friend is dead. I apologize. Song of Desire. I still haven't worked out what that does. Devour. That doesn't seem like it does very much either. Stun resist. Is Song of Desire the like bad thing? Ah, okay. I wonder how bad that is. Finale deals a lot of damage. Dead on the next tick. We're dead already. Fight for love. He has soloed me. Fortunately, jesters are like semi difficult to work out how to use best. queen of the aquatic depths. She has no place in the sane world. Oh, did I make it so that my jester could have finaled me? I think I did. Whoops. That probably wasn't a good idea. Well, that seems like it went fine. Warrior of Light Antiquarian. In town we'll never drink? Come on. That makes no sense and you know it. The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Shrieker's prize. Kill one horrid Shrieker. Plus four speed. It's just plus four speed. That's all. Why? I don't care. I want 20% damage against Unholy. I want this. I don't know about the Necromancer's Collar, but I definitely want this. Ancestor's Signet Ring. That looks okay. Another ancestor's portrait. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to work this out tomorrow because it's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks to the new followers. Appreciate the support.
Thanks to the new subscribers on YouTube as well. I'm I'm getting three of these up on YouTube a day right now, but I haven't worked out what I'm doing for XCOM content. I should probably spend the evening putting together more of my videos for my 1.0 campaign so I can keep that coming. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow with more Darkest Dungeon, unless somebody convinces me to play something else. How far did we get? Like seven weeks today? In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. How do I find out? Wait eight weeks? Cool. Alright. Good night, everybody. See y'all tomorrow.